guys, welcome back to Burley's Tech. Burley here, coming at you from the mod shed. A little garden shed in my backyard, I turned into a makerspace. Workshop, video, shooting, studio. What do you guys think? You like it? Go ahead and leave a like in the comment section. Today, let's take a look at the Anities AI Crystal. This case was sent over to me from my buddy Jason over at Spartan Mods. Uh, Andy Diesel was kind enough to send it to him, so he's letting me take a look at it, review, and, and give me my thoughts on it. So, let's go ahead, strap in, we're going for a ride. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the side panel here. I'm going to go ahead, this is a nice, thick piece of tempered glass held together with four thumb screws. Let's go ahead and take these off. As you can see, it comes with a little sticker there, tempered glass, handle with care. Nobody wants that. Tempered glass, I don't know if you ever broke it, it's pretty terrible to uh, clean up. It kind of, not like glass that has a piece of film in the middle of it, tempered glass just shatters and goes everywhere. So, four thumb screws take off. We'll go ahead and take a look at the inside here. Go ahead and set this to the side. So, inside here what we see is our motherboard tray. We see a nice PSU shroud made out of aluminum and a uh, couple of grommets here nice little cutout here this is uh, removable with a thumb screw you could put maybe a pump and a res here anything that you like we have our nice tempered excuse me our nice PSU shroud here with a grommet in the top so go ahead for routing cables makes that easier a little bit of space here in between the uh, tempered glass uh, side panel uh, the little notch here about a finger's, finger's width. A uh, good place to put uh, LED strips. Go ahead and get this case some nice lighting. Uh, we can see that we have a nice cutout tray here on the motherboard for easy access to water cooling when attaching blocks to motherboards and things like that. This case does support MATX, ATX, and ITX. A uh, couple of areas here up top with enough space to be able to put a radiator believe that this does fit a 360 radiator in the top. Top of the case shows a nice magnetic dust cover here. I like the magnetic versions a little better than kind of just built in. It's easy just to rinse off and send through the, the wash here. I'm going to go ahead and take a look here at the front of the case. Move the camera. Inside the front of the case we see 360 millimeter radiator can fit in the front. The front does offer a movable magnetic dust filter again. I think that this dust filter is a little silly to put into here. If you put fans in the front, the dust filter has now become obsolete and does not work at all. So, I don't know. Not, not a fan of that. This case does come with fans normally. Back fan here. Back of the motherboard, near the motherboard tray, we have different holes here. I do believe that we could fit a 120 and a 140 there. Uh, we have what looks like seven GPU slots for SLI or Crossfire setup here. And let's go ahead and, and move the camera, get set up. We'll take a look at the front here. Top of the case, like I said, comes with our removable dust filter here on the top. Put your fans underneath it. Uh, for I.O. we have two USB 2.0, two USB 3.0, reset button, power button that does light up it looks like, headphone and microphone jack, and as well as a fan controller here. Uh, multiple settings here, low, high, and S. I don't know what S stands for, maybe stop? Go ahead and uh, take the camera down a little bit. Go ahead and see that the, the front of the case also has tempered glass. If we take a look at the side of the case here, we can see lots of areas for air intake, which is good, especially if we're going to go ahead and put radiators in there. See, we, the back of the case here also is tempered glass held together with four thumb screws. Let's go ahead and take that off now. One thing that I, I have heard from a couple different people that I've talked to about this case is they wish that the tempered glass was a little bit not as dark. Uh, being so dark, it's a little hard to see. Tempered glass, like you can see, grabs thumbprints, so it's kind of be a pain in the butt to keep clean. But, you know, a little Windex on a cloth to get those thumbprints right off of there. So, going ahead now and opening up 
this last thumb screw here, we could take this panel off. Go ahead and set these in my pocket. Taking the panel off, we reveal a nice, uh, and one thing that I wish that a lot of other case manufacturers included was our fan controller here. So we have a, looks like a three to five fan hub. Go ahead and zoom in on that. So fan hub is a nice case feature that I think a lot of people would like to see implemented more. Um, it is something that I generally will buy because multiple fans running into a case, especially if you're water cooling, you don't have enough room on your motherboard headers for everything. Going ahead now, taking a look at everything down here. Comes with three 2.5 SSD sleds, so that's kind of nice. And then we have underneath here all of our I.O. cords. I was told by a couple different people that they wish the I.O. was a little bit longer. So they do have some problems with that. Um, especially if you're, you know, water cooling or things like that. Trying to route the cables is a little hard. Underneath here at the bottom in our basement, underneath the PSU shroud, we see our hard drive sleds. Looks like we could fit three, three and a half inch hard drive sleds. Our box here with all of our accessories. Let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what comes in the box. Haven't opened it yet, so I guess this makes it unboxing now. A little bit of tape here on the box, but the tape never stops us. Accessories box includes multiple screws here. We also see some zip ties, some motherboard standoffs, some other basic screws and things that you would need to uh, help ease the building process of this case. It's nice to see that they added all that stuff in here, some, some fan screws and all that good stuff. So if you don't use them, go ahead and stick them in your parts bin. We'll go ahead and close this back up. One thing that I, I wish that Anities would have done a little different, you can see them here, is they pop riveted the PSU shroud into place. And I think that that's a little silly. If you ask me, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out a little bit. This is one of the one of the design flaws on this case that I don't really care for, and a couple other people that I've talked to about this case don't really care for either. Pop rated PSU shroud means this thing's in place until you drill it out. So I wish that they would have just used some, you know, three screws here would have been able to get that PSU shroud out of there a lot easier, and then we could put our PSU in here without having to fight everything. It would just be a lot easier. So, Anities, if you're watching this, take that to note. If you guys redesign this case, we'd love to see screws here instead of pop rivets. Pop rivets just get drilled out. So, that's that. So, overall, I do like this case. I think it's a good case. The amount of tempered glass on it makes it look really nice. There's, you know, a couple of little things that I would change. A couple of my friends in the community said that they would change as well. Overall, Anadise makes a nice case, nice tempered glass. This does come in white as well as, as black. I have seen some white cases on this, and uh, I can tell you that, that I would go for white over black. That's just me. I think the white looks a little cleaner. You can have some fun with it um, if you wanted to. This removable tray here, I don't see why you couldn't take that apart. Mount a reservoir in the back. You know for all your water cooling needs what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna attach a bunch of pictures we're gonna do a little slideshow from my friend over at tuxedo flamingo he uh, has built in this case a couple of times a couple different builds he's kind enough to let us use his information and uh, his pictures on this case so that was nice of him and uh, after the slideshow thanks for uh, watching thanks for taking a look at the case. Let me know what you guys think down in the in the comment section down below. I think uh, if I was to give this a number, I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys want to see it built in? We'll get some parts in here. We'll liquid cool it. We'll, we'll take a look at Tuxedo Flamingo's things. Go ahead down in the comment section below. Take a look. I'm going to go ahead in the description and, and put links to everything. To my buddy Spartan Mods, my buddy Tuxedo Flamingo, 
we'll take a look at their profile. Go ahead and, and throw them a like on Instagram and, and follow them on Twitter and things like that, Facebook. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Till next time, this is Burley.